All right, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the political process. A um, couple of um, announcements to make. Uh, if you are been living under a rock today, uh, Bob Dole, former presidential candidate, Republican senator from the state of Kansas, uh, has died today. Uh, I saw that on the news this morning. I was actually kind of texting my dad, and I told him, he was just like, damn, I'm surprised he's still alive. So, uh, uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Mr. Bob Dole? Do you like him? Did you dislike him? Even though a lot of us, a lot of us, uh, we're not old enough to even, uh, you know, we're not even born by the time uh, he ran for president back in 96. He was actually a presidential candidate back in the 1996 election. And, um... Uh, so I'm pretty sure, like, pretty good chunk of us, maybe like 70-80% of us, uh, were not that familiar with Dole, except until after we got into politics back, like, you know, during the 2010s and possibly even the 2020s, depending on who you are. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. We are playing as Sean Irwin today, 34 years old, from Denton County, Texas, a house, state house district 65. Uh, State Senate District 12 and Congressional District 26. He has 7,682 political points. He was a U.S. House Representative from the state of Texas. And he's a moderate Republican, 48% approval rating. We're going to try to get that up by changing his uh, uh, background and his policy stances. Uh, $2.4 million in the bank, about $2.5 million. And he's making $175,000 per year. Did a lot of moving yesterday, so that's why I was not able to stream. Um, and I have yet to move myself. So, go over to family. We have a spouse who is currently running for mayor in Denton. Um, okay. So... Introductions. We're going to skip those for right now. We're going to try to... Um, we're going to try to do another uh, thing. Uh, what do you call it? We're going to try to affect the federal budget um, this year. But uh, don't know if we're going to be able to add any amendments. We probably are going to be able to. Uh, what a... What a... What do you call it? Let's look. Uh, politicians... I am federal house and okay okay so look how close Virginia was oh that was house so committees we should be on the financial services committee Let's see our ranking in the Financial Services Committee. Yeah, we are pretty low in the, in the rankings here. And then we should also be on the, I think it's like the Judiciary. Yeah, the Committee of the Judiciary. And yeah, we're second from the bottom uh, in terms of a positioning in the committee so uh sean in the house yes he is in the house so we're going to be uh going through a couple of elections today uh we you know that's the fun thing about running for house is that you do have common you do have a lot of different elections before we get started i need to go over to profile policy we're going to go through these individually and we'll see um We'll see uh, if we can get that approval rating up. You support raising the minimum wage? Yes. You uh, do you believe the government aid to the poor does more good or harm in terms of helping the poor raise themselves more good? We're going to oppose universal basic income. You're going to be maintain decrease increase on taxes. And then once we get to the election in 24, we are going to do a, uh, a poll uh, all across the board, see what kind of policies we can really do um, in order to get a higher approval rating. 
So, do, 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 do. Importer to improve the economy. We're going to lower taxes, decrease spending. You support or oppose a flat tax. We're going to say support. You support or oppose a carbon tax. Well, actually, not a carbon tax. Maybe we're going to oppose a wealth tax for right now. Do you support or oppose background checks? Do you support or oppose stricter gun laws? We're going to uh, oppose. We're going to oppose uh, banning higher capacity magazines. We're going to support the banning of assault weapons. Well, we are actually going to oppose that, but we're going to support stand your ground laws. Do you support or oppose a ban on the sale of handguns? We're going to oppose. Do you support or oppose banning the sale of guns to individuals with a mental illness? We're going to say support. Uh, do you support or oppose creating a federal database to go track gun sales? We're going to hold off on that for right now, but we're going to oppose it. Urban should build his way to speaker. So should we... Hmm. Should we just continue to stay in the house? We shouldn't go for Senate, or should we uh, try to go for Speaker of the House? Do you guys want me to see? Do you guys want to see Sean Irwin become Speaker, third in line to the presidency? <laughs> Second, we do a flight sim call. I got a city for you to explore. I mean, I'm doing political process right now, so can't do flight simulator right now. Senate if open. I mean, there might be a couple of times that it. The seat opens up. We might hold it to a poll. Um, do you support allowing teachers and staff to carry guns inside of school? We're going to support. Do you support or oppose decreasing the waiting period by, by a gun? We're going to oppose. President Irwin. I think we do have aspirations to become president in the near future. But not right now. We're going to try to build up our political career from the ground up. Become the Sean Irwin that we all know. I still have no idea why this guy was so popular. I don't know why you guys were like, oh my god, Sean Irwin. Like, whenever I was just like, Sean Irwin returns, and everyone was just like, holy shit, Sean Irwin's back, let's go. <laughs> Support oppose free community college. We're gonna say sports. We're gonna oppose free tuition. Donated for the child. We're gonna support school choice. Have the citizenship pose. Tighter border security. Uh, we're gonna support expanding the number of short-term visas for immigrants. You support or oppose legislation that would deny you a citizenship to parents oppose that for right now minnesota was your best tpp series we might have to bring that guy back um you support or oppose legislation that would give legal resident status to immigrants brought to the country illegally as children we're gonna oppose for right now we're gonna support GMO labeling. Oppose. No, we're gonna support increasing funding for science. We're gonna uh, oppose the ab ab abolishment of the death penalty. Uh, abolishing the electoral college. We're gonna oppose. Do you support or oppose the labor unions? We're gonna oppose them for right now. We're gonna see what those polls say. Do you support or oppose the legalization of same sex marriage? We're gonna support. Support or oppose reducing the income gap. We're going to support. Uh, support uh, government benefits for same-sex couples. Support recreational use of cannabis. We're going to oppose making abortions legal. We're going to say that we're pro-life. Support or oppose defunding reproductive health programs that perform abortions, even if the funding is not used toward abortions. We're going to oppose... We're gonna oppose cutting food stamps. We're gonna support social security. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna oppose transgender individuals to serve in the military for right now. Again, we're just waiting for all of the we're just waiting to, for the prime opportunity to uh, uh my boy Erlin is all about the milestones. Tired of PG making saves and ditching them after one or two streams again. Because 
the game. <laughs> Maybe I should do Sean Irwin gameplay in a, a Power and Revolution. Environmental, we're going to say the economy is more important. Humans cause global warming. <clears throat> support limiting greenhouse gases. Support implementing policies to combat climate change. Uh, support more money on development of solar and wind technologies. Support using federal money to develop alternate sources of fuel for automobiles. <clears throat> Support or oppose permitting federal government land to be used for oil exploration. Okay, we're going to support that. Support or oppose increasing auto emission standards for vehicles. We're going to support. You support or oppose policies to reduce U.S. carbon emissions. We're going to support. You support or oppose the Green New Deal. We're going to oppose. You support or oppose reducing the use of fossil fuels. We're going to support. Play Democrat. I don't. Yeah. Uh, military, do you want to increase, decrease, or maintain current military spending levels? We're going to increase. You support or oppose universal basic health care? We're going to oppose. Do you support expanded Medicaid? We're going to support expanding Medicaid. Do you support a single uh, payer health care system, sometimes referred to as Medicare for all? We're going to oppose for right now. Do you support or oppose a public health care option? to say yes this would allow individuals to opt into public health programs such as medicare or to continue using private health insurance uh, we're going to support a public option do you support or oppose regulating prescription drug prices we're going to support support or oppose allowing people between the ages of 50 to 64 to purchase medicare coverage we're going to support do you support or oppose prohibiting insurance companies from denying coverage to uh we're going to support uh we're going to support prohibiting insurance companies from denying coverage to individuals pre-existing conditions because pre-existing conditions is a very big bipartisan issue. We support or oppose prohibiting health insurance companies from denying coverage to health to pregnant women. Um, we're going to support prohibiting that. We support or oppose prohibiting insurance companies from charging sick individuals with higher premiums. Um, I guess we'll support that. Do you support or oppose regulating, requiring insurance companies to cover the cost of most preventative services? We'll oppose that for right now. And do you support or oppose prohibiting insurance companies from setting a limit on how much healthcare coverage they can provide over a person's lifetime? We're gonna oppose that for right now. Calculate ideology, fiscally moderate, but socially conservative. So we will go with those uh, policies for right now. Uh, <coughs> he once played an independent from Dakota County, Minnesota and spoiled the election in favor of the Republican. I remember that. I remember that. Maybe if I get like, you know, 100,000 political points, maybe I can switch to independent and then just see if name recognition alone and political points alone can actually get me to win an election uh, on. Um, um, actually, so, OK, let's. Damn, we should have endorsed her. I always forget the endorsements. I always forget endorsements. So this Kate Irwin is our wife. We're trying to get her to win. It's actually getting a little bit tighter. Can she take the lead? APGRU, and what did I miss from the stream? Not much. I just started streaming. What's going on? Dexter coming later. Election is kind of like getting tighter, then wider, then tighter again, then wider. So there might be there might be a uh uh a chance for for our wife to win this election looks like homer parish is uh is is leading in the polls right now 60 50 percent reporting so 2905 votes 
separate the two. Yeah, I'm always playing... Yeah, okay, our wife is going to lose the selection. Yeah, look at that. 69% reporting, 5,403 votes separate the two candidates. 80% reporting, 7,000 votes, 61 to 38. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she has lost this election, unfortunately, by a very, very, very wide margin. So, 60 to 40 exactly, 24,152 votes for Mr. Parrish, and uh, 16,088 votes for our wife, Kate. And that equals out to 60% to 240%. How can you get the beta? God, I really need to just like make a really like five second video of just how to do the beta. Let's go ahead and see governor's races. We have are the governor's races in Louisiana, uh, they call it a Mississippi and Kentucky. And we have school board, all of these, and we have an independent. All right, I think let's go over. Let's go over to crime, drugs. So we have 100,000 people in prison for uh, drug crimes. And then we also have $3.4 billion that we are spending on federal dr uh, prison drug sentences. So we're going to go ahead and introduce a bill to eliminate those entirely. Many hearings, and we are on judiciary. The president of the United States supports HR4. And the Speaker of the House supports it, and the caucus leader supports it. So, let's go ahead and so decriminalizing will decrease expenditure by approximately $200,000 uh, per prisoner. This proposal decreases uh, prison links by too much after analyzing this legislation. My conclusion that it should not become law. And I commend this legislate legislation for recognizing that drug use is a public health issue, not a criminal issue. Any, dr any decrease in drug related set prison sentences. It's a step forward for justice. I advise everyone to support this legislation. But the president and the speaker and our even our own caucus leader supports it. So let's go ahead and support it. And it passes committee 30 to 10. And let's see. So the only people that voted against it were uh, uh, Republicans. Rah, rah, Republicans. Okay, so let's go over here and support the legislation. And it is... Um, we got a super majority in the House of Representatives, 384 people voted in favor of the legislation, and 51 representatives voted against it, including four Democrats. Let's go ahead and see. So we have Colorado District 7, uh, Florida 23, Illinois 9, and Iowa 2 that voted against it that were Democrats, which is interesting. I got TPP from winning one of your contests. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Defense appropriations. We're going to wait for. All right. So 70 to 30 in the Senate and President Barry Parrish. Wasn't there a Parrish? Hang on. President. Barry Parrish, okay, so then City, Homer Parrish, that's funny. We're gonna wait for the, uh, we're gonna wait for the, uh, um, transportation bill to come over, and we're gonna affect that passing a minimum. Road maintenance, um, energy assistance. So, let's go ahead and 
put an additional several billion dollars. We're gonna do 15 billion dollars to the FTA. Then we're gonna cut. Eh, never mind. Carbon capture and storage mandates. Yeah, let's go ahead and support it. Oh, that's funny. I guess the caucus leader. Hopefully this uh, approval rating goes up in this next year. We also have presidential election that are coming up. So budget resolution, let's vote on that first and support it. Run for re-election in the House of Representatives. Let's go ahead. Rights and economic. Uh, we're reduce income taxes. Reduce poverty and fight crime. 50% so apparently that worked. And are we being opposed? We are not. Oh, look at that. No Democrat is running in our district, but we do have a independent that is running. That's fun. have a Senate race that is going on. So we have Bob Ed Edmonds that won the primary for the Democratic Party. And then we have Darren Yule who's running for the Republican ticket. And what are we looking at in terms of the presidential race? Elections. So we have... Parish is running for re-election. About well, Republicans. We have Roxanne Barner that is running for the Republican ticket. What about metrics? Let's go over to Nation. Things are looking up, so there might be good re-election chances. We have the Indiana primary, apparently. Yeah, so. Abstinence only sex education, seriously. <laughs> Sorry, oppose. Oh, look how close that was. Pretty sure the president will veto that if it even passes, so I'm not even worried about it. Legislation federal, 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 federal. Yeah, I got denied a hearing in the Senate. <laughs> Presidential debate. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, poll. Let's do everything. Also want to see what that independent's performing. Sean Irwin. Taylor Fontana. 31% red name recognition. River rating, better intention, 83 to 16. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. And I have 81% of independents, 93% of Republicans, 45% of Democrats, and 81% of independents. That's great. 
Uh, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything on this channel. So, healthcare economy and social security. Let's do... Policy. Gonna be... Healthcare. Economy. Increase the minimum wage and social security. Oh yeah, let's look at labor unions real quick. I want to look at some of the big ones, so it's going to be oppose Medicaid expansion. All right, while this runs, I'm going to um, uh, grab a drink real quick, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. So we're gonna be playing this four minutes and 28 seconds. We're gonna watch.
Oh, look at that. Texas already got called. I know that was a uh, margins. <laughs> oh, look at all that blue. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's go. So, waiting for any, waiting for any unusual calls. Oh, look at that red, blue Florida, but a red Nevada. <laughs> it has to be because, yeah, Clark County's only 13% in. What about here? Whoa, blue Denton County? What's going on? Uh-oh. Row, row. Dex is going to be close. What's going on in Texas? 73%, 75% reporting. Texas actually might flip. 60% in Denton County, and we are, we are Democratic. Hold up. Hold up. What's my race looking like? 26, 80. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna win. Absolutely going to win. Texas Republican is winning. 80% in in Texas, and it is within a point. Wow. We got a blue Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Okay, so, oh, we got a blue Georgia. We got a blue Georgia. Look at that. Look at that. We got a blue Georgia. We got a blue Ohio. Florida's gonna flip. Texas is... is, is really fucking close to flipping. I just cussed. Y'all need to... Y'all need to donate. Uh, Wisconsin's going blue, Michigan's going blue, Pennsylvania's going blue, North Carolina is going blue, Iowa seems to be going blue, but it's going to be close. And look at that, look at that, Democrat in the lead in, in Texas, look at that, look at that, that is, that is interesting. <laughs> Democrat is up, is now ahead by a point. Texas might throw that uh throw Barry Parish over over the top. 88% reporting in. North Carolina just flipped. Ohio is blue. Any one of these states now could flip. Yep. Okay, so uh West Coast just got called. 263 electoral votes right now. Texas is the lead in Texas is only expanding with 90% in Texas is going blue tonight. And President Parrish just got a reelected 279 electoral votes. Michigan just threw him over the top. We got we're going it's going to be a landslide. It's going to be a democratic landslide tonight. Denton County, Collin County, Tarrant County all blue. Williamson County blue. Bell County is blue? Are you kidding me? Bell County? It's a landslide, folks. And it's close in Louisiana. It's going to be an interesting election result. Alaska might be going blue tonight, too. Minnesota just went blue. Georgia just went blue. Let's play normal. Florida just went blue. This is what the map is looking like by margins right now. 
X's. Get that. 99% reporting Texas. Texas just flipped. Texas is blue. Jesus Christ. What happened tonight? Republicans, this is an embarrassment. Look at that. Oh, we are doing 400 electoral votes tonight. Oh, no. Four hundred and seven electoral votes for the Democratic Party tonight. And 42% in in Alaska. And, uh, yep, they're going to take Alaska, too. Let's go ahead and play. One minute and 29 seconds. 83% in in Nevada. They will be staying blue tonight. It's all in on Alaska now. Four percent reporting. Seventy-two percent, eight hundred and six votes. Democrats just took the lead in Alaska. Yep, Democrat is going to be winning Alaska tonight, lads. Eighty-three percent reporting. 413 electoral votes are going to be doing 416 electoral votes after Alaska gets called tonight. 90% reporting 1,700 votes separate the two. 6,715 votes now. Tightening just a tiny bit before the vote gets completely called. And... Oh! Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! Hang on. Hang on. It's still not in. Oh, okay. Okay, it got called. 520 votes in Alaska. 520 votes in Alaska. It looked like that Barry Parrish was going to be winning the state of Alaska tonight, but 50.1 to 49.9. That's like that's like a runoff territory, or not even. No, I don't actually. Since it's 50 plus point one, I don't think that would go to a runoff. But because it is within 0.5 percent, I think it would. So 520. 20 votes separate the two candidates. That is Florida margins right there. Uh, yeah, we need a recount, boys. We need to see what the results from this election are. We need to see what the Senate looks like, what the House looks like. Could this have been a blue wave, or was it just was this just something that uh, made the Democrats just I mean, Was it a very popular president that uh, you know had the rest of the country going for him? So let's go ahead and see each. Uh, major state. I want to look at Texas. So, look at that. You got the South Texas region. Uh, very Hispanic. Uh, very Democrat. Look at that. Zapata County is, is uh, voting for uh, for the uh, Democrat by uh, 50.8 to 41.1. That's interesting. The Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area flipped tonight so we have conlin county 51 to 49 uh tarrant county 53.3 uh, to 46.7 denton county our home county is 50.3 to 49.7 so a relatively uh close election in denton county uh 122,000 votes 500 to uh 120,808 votes in Denton County. Um, look. There's Jasper County. Very easy. Very, very easy. About King County. Yeah. Very good numbers in King County. Okay, U.S. Senate. We are looking at... We are looking at... Uh, zero gains for the Democrats, zero gains for the Republicans. Therefore, we have uh, 51 to 49 U.S. House. What are we looking at? So the delegation from Pennsylvania just flipped. So that is good news for the Democrats. Maybe they flipped a couple of House delegations here. Um, looks like they have not flipped Michigan. They have not flipped Wisconsin. 
They have not flipped Georgia, even though they won them on the presidential level. They have not flipped uh, Florida. They have not flipped Texas. They didn't even gain a house seat in Texas, even though they won the state by by like more than 150,000 votes. Uh, they gained so Democrats gained nine seats in the House of Representatives, and Republicans lost obviously nine. Um, so that is 214 uh, seats for the Democrats and 221 seats for the Republicans. Governorships, let's look. Uh, we have a flip in North Carolina, 50.5, 46.4 to 3. Uh, looks like that is the only flip of tonight. Very close margin. Uh, State Senate, Democrats gained zero. Uh, State House, Democrats gained one. And U.S. House, let's see our election results there. So we're going to be going to 26. 125,000 votes separate the two candidates. 159,613 to 34,306. 82.3 to 17.7. Brett Zapata where that is texas 25 i think that's somewhere in north texas all right let's go ahead and go that will be it very very cool i like the election nights the election nights are actually really cool this house representative uh, let's, I guess, I guess we'll hope throw our hat in the ring. Oh, yeah, look at that. Three votes. Wow. Wow. Whoever House Speaker and 221 votes. Nomination process. Let's try again. We're going to start doing some leadership positions. Apparently, we are not doing so hot. Caucus chair. Let's try caucus chair. We have some people behind us, but we don't have all of them behind us. Select your committees, let's do appropriations, and let's do judiciary. And subcommittees for appropriations, let's do uh, commerce, justice, science, and related agencies. ICE, what's up? Oh, it could be subcommittee chair. Let's do that. Courts and intellectual property. Let's do crime, terrorism, and homeland security. So let's do the subcommittee chair position. Budget resolution. Let's support it. I cannot wait for government such shutdowns. That would be cool. Conference report. Support. Uh, foster care amendment hearing. 64 to 71. Let's say no to an amendment. Vote on legislation. Let's support it. Let's go over to legislation. Go over to other state abortion policy. Give states jurisdiction over abortion laws. Looks like our approval is actually going up now. Let's try to do this. Forty-three or eleven. Don't tell me that they're actually going to support this thing. The president opposes it. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's fun. Oh, the Senate denied it. Sean Irwin, 2028, maybe. Sean Irwin, 2028 for House, yeah. He is mayor of Denton, 2016 to 2023, so he served two terms, and then we are now two-term U.S. House representative. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Virginia and... Eh. These are the only primaries, so. 
Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Um, when is twenty-seven? Protege. Selection here a bit. Serving. I'm gonna try to make an endorsement for her in the next. Uh, mayoral election. Should have children so they can take over once you retire. We're going to have children. Eh, we can actually have children now. Let's do new baby. Family is now pregnant. Your child will be born in approximately 36 weeks. Yeah, I guess uh, give her some time to raise a child before that's sexist what I just said. Give her some time. Give us some time to raise a child before uh, she runs in this next election in Denton. Online security. Let's uh, add an amendment. Do an additional $500 million. Let's cut. Oh, yeah. Let's cut from the TSA. What y'all doing? Failure of an agency. Charles Irwin, let's do it. So we have about 18 years before we can customize the boy. So it's going to be health, economy, still need to raise a minimum wage, that's what I'm forgetting, social security, opponents, two Democrats, no Republicans, good, approval's on its way up, we're doing good, we're doing good.
We can just skip it again. We're running against 26. We are running against Anne Thamboral. I don't even know who all that is, but okay. Yeah, we are totally good on fundraising right now. quiet I'm basically just concentrating I guess sometimes I get really quiet whenever I'm just like concentrating yeah what am I concentrating on oh go ahead and leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new super chatting is always appreciated I have cash app if you want to be generous um sure you subscribe for more um make sure you subscribe for more we call it uh political process what game, what game am i playing again <laughs> anyone know a good joke me we have this is the midterm elections let's see what the house elections 34 seats for the Democrats, 26 for the Republicans. No flips as of yet. And we'll just try to be clicking through these simultaneously. Objections. Governor. Governor. We all need governor. Look how close. Look how close the delegation is with Georgia. No, it's only one and one, only one race, as we've called. Ah! And this is the delegation out of Texas. And at ours, we are winning. Pretty sure we are going to win. Like about engineer. What's going on here? Whoa! Got zero calls for. Uh... Have they even been called yet? When I want to, I want to know the. I want to know how these how these get called. Sometimes I don't even see them getting called. So U.S. Senate no gains, House no gains, Governor no gains, State House no gains. watching the house yeah we have about two minutes three minutes yeah seats are gonna start pouring in now did you have you ever thought about creating a twitch account i do have a twitch i just don't use it i don't know what to use it for i'm also i just know that twitch is a completely different community so i don't know i've thought about it I have one that you can follow. It's just that I haven't streamed to it in like five years. Like I haven't, the last time that I streamed on Twitch was whenever the original version of Power and Revolution came out. We have uh, four or five uh, seat gains for the Republicans. What about the Senate? No gains as of yet. It's like, Texas remaining Republican. What about governors staying? We have seven gains, eight gains. We're gonna be looking at these in the future. 
I like how the house has been like consistently Republican like since the beginning of this game. Watching this in South Korea. Hell yeah, let's go. South Korea is the best Korea. Should have children. I'm already already have a child in the game. Ten seats. Gonna gain any more? Gaining any more Republicans? What about the Senate? No gains. Come on! We need to flip a seat. We need a seat flip. I swear to God, I'm about to move Sean Irwin to another to a battleground state just so he can flip a flip a damn seat. Hopefully in 2028 we see something. We have a couple more seats that need to be called. What the hell is happening with the New Jersey delegation? Holy crap! Look at that. Republicans gained two seats in the New Jersey House delegation, and they uh, they have split control over New Jersey now. About Arizona, no gains. So, 231 seats for the Republicans, 204 for the Democrats. And... A Republican Minnesota. Republicans have gained one seat, so they already had control over the House delegation. And Virginia... Republicans have taken control of the Virginia House delegation. And no seat gains. No seat gains. One seat gain in Minnesota. Florida, no seat gains. One seat gain in Georgia. No change in Texas. How do you get your spouse to run? It's in protege. It's like getting your protege to run, except it's your wife. Oh, here we are. So, Governor, we have a flip in Pennsylvania. Democrats have taken control of the state of Pennsylvania in the governor's mansion. And then we have... <laughs> oh, shit! Look at this. So, Arizona, I can see that. You know, I can see that. Like, we, So, they flipped out last Alaska. They, they flipped Alaska. They flipped Arizona. But look at this. They flipped in New Mexico, of all places. Holy shit. Oh my god. What about Pennsylvania? What was over here? Uh, I mean, I guess a okay performance in Allegheny County. It's always going to be in like Chester County, Bucks County, Northampton, Berks, maybe Lancaster, uh, Delaware, uh, Luzerne. Uh, Michigan is red. New Mexico is the one that interests me the most. It looks like that the Independent seriously did a number in this election. I bet the Independent took away from the Democratic vote, therefore, that's why they lost. Uh, State House, Democrats lost one seat, and U.S. Senate, no change. So, that is the 2026 midterm elections. Streaming for one hour. I think I'm going to call it soon. We're actually going to get to the uh, end of this year. We're going to try to get our wife to run. Um, yeah, she should be able to run. And we're going to make sure that we do that endorsement for Um, let's try to run again. 49 votes. Oh, we're really getting up there. I think a couple more elections and we're going to be able to become Speaker of the House. Vote for Speaker of the House. Vote. 
Then we're going to do party leader. I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. Again. 142. 34. Caucus chair. Let's try. Caucus chair. Oh, look how close that is. 42 votes to 39. One more election and we got it. We've got it. Select committees, appropriations, and judiciary. And then we will be the subcommittee chair on commerce, justice, science, and related agencies. Then we will also be the uh, subcommittee chair of crime, terrorism, homeland security, and investigations. Budget resolution, supports. I just discovered, discovered that New Hampshire is a democratic state, so their gun laws are very permissive. How, how can this be? Uh, uh, New Hampshire is pretty conservative. Like they're like the one of those the widest but most conservative northeastern states. Uh, they voted for Bush back in two thousand, and uh, I think they flipped in two thousand. 2004 election. I may be wrong. I think they voted. Yeah. New Hampshire voted a uh, flipped for uh, John Kerry back in 04, but voted for Bush in 2000. It says the state is considered to be more fiscally conservative than its neighbors in New England. However, they're like the rest of New England. It is considered uh, more liberal on social issues, which benefits Democratic candidates. Uh, New Hampshire was the only state that Bush won in the 2000 election, but lost in the 2004 election. It's the first time that a Republican won a presidential election while losing New Hampshire, while Bush became the second consecutive Republican after his father to lose New Hampshire in the second election, having won it in his first um, this will be the first time since 1976 that New Hampshire would back the losing candidate in a presidential election, which would be repeated in 2016. In 2016, it was actually extremely close, so if we actually look at the election results, 75% turnout in the 2016 election in Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. It was 348,526 votes to four, uh, 345,790 votes. That's 47.62 to 47.25. Uh, so to 2016 was actually the closest it has been in New Hampshire sent in a, in a very long time. Basically, New, Eng New Hampshire is the yeehaw of the Northeast. Not really. It's just that they support uh, fiscal conservatism more often. It's just a politics thing. Um, elections, city, mayor. Let's try... Campaign endorse. Council mayor. I think we have to wait. To see if she can win that primary. She's probably going to lose this thing again. Because she's running against a incumbent. Once it's an open primary, I'm pretty sure that she can win. Or I can just get her to run for state house. Ah, uh, yeah, she's going to lose. Crap. 
I could have endorsed her. Hang on. Load. 654. Yeah, let's try that again. Nomination, no. Speaker, vote. Speaker, vote. Nomination process, no. Uh, 59. Committees, appropriations, and judiciary, and subcommittee chair, and subcommittee chair. Do that. Let's go over to lab uh, campaign available. Available order endorsement on week six. Okay, so we can endorse. Share this one more time. Over Cox chair. 29, almost. Only a couple more cycles. Campaign available. We're gonna endorse our wife. <laughs> now we can go to the election. I know these endorsements actually do a number. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. I just realized my mic was muted that whole fucking time. I want to die. Anyway, that election sucked. <laughs> my wife kept losing. Um, 
I hate muting myself and not realizing it. Um, someone said, as a foreigner, am I confused as what state move to move to? I love technology and trend humanism, which sounds like California, but I'm conservative and love guns, which sounds like Texas. Any ideas? Uh, essentially, what I said is that depends on your budget. If you want to, if you want a cheap place, go to somewhere like Wyoming, Nebraska. Look up the cost of living in these states. Um, in California, it's almost impossible because it's so expensive there. Texas is starting to become like that, where it's becoming really expensive because the property values here are going up. Um, Texas, you know, has the benefits of being a urbanized state, but also uh, has the downsides of urbanization. But I, I feel like the urbanization is like a double-edged sword. Don't exactly know where that's going to get you. Um, so it's, it depends on what your budget is, where you're running to go, if politics is driving you. I would, I would just look at different states. Florida is kind of maybe the good in-between, but there's a lot of people moving to Florida now. So it really depends on your budget. It depends on what you're wanting to move for. It depends on where you're going to go for. Um, so it, it, it just, it really, really depends. I'm biased, so if you were to ask me, I would say Texas. But if um, if you're basically like um, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, I think you get my point. Um, I've been streaming for an hour, so more than an hour, so. Um, I will catch you guys in the next stream. I will try to do, I'll make sure to do part three. We will continue Sean Irwin, Sean Irwin Dynasty. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you miss anything on this channel. If you guys want to see more, uh, just hit the like button, even though you can't dislike. Uh, haha, no more dislikes. Um, but yeah. Um, Go ahead and uh, leave a like, subscribe. Um, uh, my cash app is in the description, or my cash app is literally uh, Politics Gaming, capital P, capital G. Um, donate to that or uh, c communicate with me if you want to do it in any other way. Um, but yeah, uh, do all that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this live stream with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.